Do you want to add a stopwatch or a countdown to your video on CapCut on Mac and PC? Something like this? Maybe you want to do a study with me? Well, I'm gonna share with you how you can do it. So the first step is to get some sort of file that has the stopwatch or a countdown. What I do usually is I go to my phone's stopwatch app and I just screen record this, but to save you time, I've already done that. And you can download this 10 minute timer from the link in the description, completely free. If you don't like the iPhone one, you can go to Pixabay and you can download this one, which is free for use under the Pixabay content license, apparently. So this is one minute long, this is 10 minute long. Feel free to download either one. And once that's downloaded, you want to head on over to CapCut and import your video that you want to edit. Let's say I want to edit this video, drag and drop it to my timeline. Command plus, zoom in, let's increase volume by dragging this up and let's find where it actually starts. Yes, there we go, so if I just go command, command B, delete. And then let's import our stopwatch. I have it under downloads here. And let's drag and drop this onto our timeline on top of the A roll, the talking headshot. And now <laughs> it's too big, it covers my entire face. So let's reduce the scale. So select the stopwatch clip and let's reduce the scale. And you can just drag it to the corner like that. And if that's all you want, that's all good. But I'm going to share with you a couple of things you can do. The first thing you can do is remove the black background. So if you want to do that, you just go under blend mode, go screen and you no longer have the black background. You can make it more translucent by using soft light as well. There are a few other options here and you can experiment, but let's just keep it with default for now. And I'm going to share with you a few other things you can do. What you can do if you want the rounded corners look, you can go under, so after you have it selected, go under mask rectangle and you drag this here, drag this here, adjust it however you want. And you see this corner piece right here, you can drag it out and that rounds the corner and you can adjust it how you want. Cool. Now if we go under basic, we can now move it around. And that's pretty much our timer. Here's how I use a whiteboard to be more productive in medical school. <laughs> how I use a whiteboard to be more productive in medical school. All right. I, oh, one more thing. That's right. Uh, you can reverse your clip as well if you wanted a countdown rather than a stopwatch going up. And if you just select this, go to, where is it? somewhere here, reverse, and it will reverse the clip for you. And then you have a countdown rather than a stopwatch going up. Going to take a minute because it is 10 minutes long, but you get the idea. So thanks for watching. My name is Junius. My goal with this channel is to help creators make more engaging content. And I've organized everything into playlists. If you want more cap cut editing tutorials, check out this playlist right here. Thanks for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video.